Police now know the name of the officer under investigation for inaction on the job. And tonight, the mayor is reacting to the controversy. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at City Hall with the follow up. Mike? Jessica, that officer remains on the job right now. The mayor says she's letting the commissioner handle it. Hey, can you help me out? There's a guy who just dumped a gun. Baltimore City Police say they've now identified the officer heard in this video. Sir, right now, I'm going back to the station you called it in. Mm -hmm. This is in my district. Who declines to respond to an armed man near the Mitchell Courthouse. The commissioner was blunt, calling it embarrassing and unacceptable. So, what does the mayor think? Mayor, what's your reaction to the video that the commissioner released yesterday? Uh, the, uh, the police commissioner has complete control of what needs to take place as it relates to that. She then walked away from us. Police say they've not taken any action against the officer, but the investigation is active. What's done is done. I can assure you that the, that the police department, internal affairs, is looking into it, and then we will let that investigation play out. There he is. The video was recorded earlier this month on a firefighter's dashboard camera. It follows an analysis of more than 5 million police dispatches by USA Today that reveal Baltimore City officers are less aggressive and less likely to report crimes today than they were before the 2015 riots. There is a real perception in our streets that police are not responding in the way that we need them to respond. But the commissioner points out crime is trending downward in the city and says apparent inaction like this This is in my district. is the exception. What was depicted in that, that video was an anomaly. And we have yet to hear any explanation from that officer about what happened. The commissioner hasn't said how long this investigation will take. Live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ. All right, Mike, thanks. The Fraternal Order of Police said inaction on the job gives officers a bad eye and said the incident is unacceptable.